Hello, Bridge Group leaders. This is Pastor Dave, and I'm excited about this upcoming fall season. We have some amazing things going on at Bridge Church. We're excited about the uh, Dream Again series and the big day, October 1st. And also for Bridge Groups, we have three courses, uh, Foundations, which is Kent and Terry Denton uh, are teaching a Foundations course, Biblical Foundation Bible Study. Chase the Lion, of course, is the majority of you are teaching this class. And then we have two Financial Peace University offerings at Greenbrier, as well as the Virginia Beach location. Uh, before I get too far in this training, I just want to say, first of all, thank you for leading a group. Uh, most of you who lead these groups, especially this fall, I think all of you have led groups before, um, or maybe you're in education, uh, you're very skilled. So a lot of this stuff may be redundant to you and you know a lot of these things. So I'm going to go quickly, very quickly in this training camp. And my goal is to actually knock it out within 10 minutes so that you don't have to sit through a long video. But I want to quickly take you to my bridge. Um, if you go to the website, let me just do that real quick. Um, I think it's important for us to kind of take a peek at this. When you go to the website, of course, you're going to see something like this, and you're going to want to go over here to My Bridge. And first off, I think all of you understand how to use My Bridge. If you don't, please let me know, and we'll make sure that you're in, in My Bridge. When you open My Bridge, you're going to see something like this, and uh, you're going to want to look for your group. And I use this example over here. I'm using uh, Kent and Terry Denton's group uh, foundation. So this fall, all the groups are going to start with your group number, and you're going to see that uh, Sunday morning. Um, most of you on the 17th, if you're here on September 17th, depending on when you listen to this, you're going to get your group number. We're going to have some table displays. And just a remind, reminder, on October 1st, uh, we're going to want you to stand behind those tables. But for the next few weeks, two weeks, uh, you're just going to have a sign there with your picture and just some information about your group. Now, all the groups are numbered like this this year. They're numbered, um, this one, for example, is group three, and there's an underscore, and that stands for fall 2017. So it's three underscore F17, the name of your group. If you're financial peace, it'd be either one or two underscore F17, financial peace, and then Chase the Lion's going to say whatever your group is. Let's say you're group number eight. You're going to see eight underscore F17, Chase the Lion. So I think the fastest way is, is you just want to go into groups and you just want to find a group. And let's say you want to do, um, uh, I don't know, let's say, found, let's do foundations again. I just looked up foundations like this. And there it is, group three underscore F17. So let's say you want to do uh, seven underscore, um, what's my underscore right here? Um, so here, anyways, here's group 10. I don't know how I did that. But this is uh, group 10, underscore F17, Chase the Line. This is uh, Rick Meyer's group and Alinda. And so you can kind of get a sense of, of how to find your group. And in there, you're going to see your participants right here. So you'll have your participants. So people aren't signing up a lot yet, but there are a handful of people who are. So you want to find your group, put in the number, underscore F17. Um, and a lot of times, if you go to your home page, your group will be listed over here anyways. So I just wanted to take a few minutes to talk about that because the important thing for me is that you contact uh, your group members. Please keep tabs on that. Check that, especially after Sunday services, as people begin to sign up Monday, Tuesday. Stay in touch with them. Let them know what your address is. Let them know where you live, where the group is. Now, if it's at you know, Bridge, Bridge Church Greenbrier, Go ahead and give them the address. Maybe they don't attend that location. Uh, maybe it's at a restaurant. Go ahead and give them that address. Let them know. Stay in touch with them. Email them. Call them. Whatever you can do um, to stay in touch. Now I want to just jump over um, <clears throat> to the back to the training camp. I'm going to zoom through this because, again, I want to keep this to about five minutes here. There's a lot of great information in here for you to look through. I'd love for you to read it through. I just want to highlight a few things um, in this in this uh, training guide. You can read through many of these things. Obviously, you may have gone through this before a number of times. 
we do ask for a leader's commitment in the back of this guide. There's a covenant I'd like for you to please sign and get that back to me. You can take it to the church office or scan it and send it to me or hand it to me Sunday morning or give it to someone at the Welcome Center. That's fine as well. Um, and uh, also, <clears throat> there's just a lot of things in here you can look through that's going to help you lead a group. Just great reminders. You set the tone. Um, the group dynamics, of course, we recommend 70% uh, of the time you should let them be the ones who are speaking. Think of yourself as a facilitator. Get them talking. Uh, men should minister to men and women to women, uh, that sort of thing. Um, so as we go through this, again, you can read through a lot of these things, some suggestions on what to do before your group arrives, um, some tips for facilitating great group discussion. Now, Chase the Lion, <clears throat> you're going to want to facilitate a lot of discussion. Mark Batterson um, is a guy who he'll share a lot of stories in each chapter. Um, he doesn't give you a ton of in-depth Bible study, but we want you to also try to come up with some questions yourself. But I'm going to send you a discussion guide, like a study guide, that's going to help you with each chapter and each week. Um, but I would also appreciate it if you come up with some of your own stuff. Um, get your group talking. You know who your group members are, and you can get them talking. Maybe you can find some Bible scriptures that would go really well with some of those chapters. And so take some time to do that. That'd be great. You may have some challenging people. Here's some tips on, on how to do that. Uh, we don't normally offer a lot of child care. Um, however, we are offering child care for the Thursday morning women's group. Um, but if you decide that you need child care, usually for the families who need child care, hopefully um, they can split the cost. And we have a, a child care cost um, calculator, I guess you could call it, in the back of this, and I'll show you here in just a minute. Um, this is a sample itinerary, uh, what you want to do in each group. This is that child care worksheet I talked about. It's a way to kind of split up uh, the cost. Uh, divided among the group. And uh, for snacks and refreshments, um, this lists uh, each week different couples or people can take turns, you know, leading uh, or excuse me, providing the snacks or refreshments. Uh, you don't have to do that if you're the host uh, every week. If you want to, that's fine. But if you can also split that up. Important dates real quick. October 1st is a big day. Please bring as many friends and family members and cousins and neighbors as you can. We'd love to just pack the house that day. It's going to be an awesome day. There's going to be stuff for kids, food, inflatables. Uh, bridge groups begin October 8th that week, whatever night you are. They end December 10th. Um, I know that there's a Thanksgiving week that may be difficult for you to meet. That's fine. You guys can decide if you want to skip that week. Um, I understand, obviously. And then lastly, I just want to have every group be involved in a day of caring project. Um, we're going to sponsor children again for Christmas gifts. And uh, this would be a great opportunity for you group to come and help us as a church deliver Christmas presents. And so this is the group project that I want all the groups to participate in. Uh, it takes place Saturday, December 16th as the group, group, groups end. And uh, you can check with the church office when we get closer to the date. Please take attendance every week. I'm going to need the average attendance weekly at the end of the semester. Um, the easiest way to do that is just take attendance on this sheet. Or you can download the Small Group Leader app, which I had sent an email earlier about. Um, take some time to try to work through that. Here's a, um, I'll send you this. You can click on this because it's going to be a PDF. Uh, just some detailed information on how to use that. And, uh, and just as a reminder, the person in your group must have their mobile carrier uh, turned on in MyBridge to receive text. So if you want to use that, make sure that their mobile carrier is turned on. Um, there's, a there's a few glitches. We'll, we'll get through that, but I'd love for everybody to use MyBridge. And here is the Bridge Group Leader Covenant. Uh, please take a moment, fill that out, get it back to me. And uh, you can take it to the church office or Welcome Center. I'd really appreciate it. If you have any questions, uh, don't hesitate to contact me, call me, email me. Again, thanks for leading a bridge group. 
May God bless you.